Hello, I'm Rachel Rubel with Fiberline Communications. Thank you for joining us for this discussion about burstable bandwidth, burstable gig E, burstable fast E, and burstable DS3. Burstable bandwidth is commonly available at speeds of between 5 megabits per second Mbps to 45 Mbps as DS3, 10 Mbps to 100 Mbps as fast E, or from 100 Mbps to 1000 Mbps as Gig E. For example, if you purchase a burstable DS3 circuit, you can commit to pay for 10 Mbps minimum each month, but have the ability to burst up to a full 45 Mbps during sporadic times of unique need for increased bandwidth. A burstable fast Ethernet circuit would allow a business to commit to as low as 10 Mbps each month and be able to burst up to 100 Mbps as needed. Burstable Gigabit Ethernet requires a minimum commitment of 100 Mbps, but will allow a business to burst up to 1000 Mbps as needed. Larger bandwidth commitments are available for each type of service. Generally, the higher the minimum commitment, the lower the cost per megabit of bandwidth. Ethernet is more commonly available as burstable bandwidth than DS3. Co-location facilities often have greater access to burstable bandwidth due to their close proximity to fiber. Customers that utilize co-location facilities are often better able to obtain burstable bandwidth than customers that terminate bandwidth at their business location. With burstable bandwidth, the customer pays a fixed monthly rate for the bandwidth for which they commit, plus the amount that they spike over their minimum commitment. For all bandwidth utilized when they burst above their minimum commit rate, the customer pays per Mbps at the rate per meg they have agreed to pay for their minimum commitment. The extra amount the customer pays above the minimum commit is a calculation of how much bandwidth is used above the minimum commit and for the time the bursted bandwidth was used. Most providers calculate usage at the 95 percentile. Examples of companies that might benefit from burstable bandwidth are call centers that experience higher than normal call traffic during a marketing blitz, large florists for holidays such as Valentine's Day, convention centers that need much higher than normal bandwidth a few times each month when they host large conferences, or campaign centers that engage in call blitzes. If a company only requires infrequent spikes above their minimum for brief periods a few times a month, Utilizing burstable bandwidth will probably save them significant money on their monthly bill. However, if this company finds that they must burst above their minimum for long periods of time, or frequently throughout the month, it is usually less expensive to purchase the amount of bandwidth they commonly use rather than burstable bandwidth. Thank you for joining us for this discussion. If you have questions or if you would like a free consultation with one of our certified engineers, please give us a call or use the contact form on our website. Link to our website is located immediately below this video. If you would like to watch other videos which address related topics, please click on one of these green links. Or click the link directly beneath this video to use our patented real-time pricing tool. This pricing tool is easy to use and there is no obligation. Our pricing tool will assist you in checking prices, and availability for any business telecom service for your business location, including T1, Ethernet, Fiber, Voice, VOIP, larger circuits like DS3, Fast E, or Gig E, or networking between business locations for any location in the United States, or international networks. Please visit our website at www fiberlinecommunications.com I'm Jody Ellen, the Director of Training here at Fiberline Communications. Thank you for joining us today for this training session.